<laughs> MC Lars is more punk than you. You call yourself post-punk laptop rap. Can you talk about what that means to you? Sounds pretty hardcore. Yeah, I made up that, that term. Um, post-punk bands like Joy Division and Public Image Limited took like the DIY ethic of punk and did the sound differently. So it was like post-punk in that it was like, you know, punk, punk thoughts with like different music. And then I, I was in a punk band and I do my beats on the laptop and it's rap music. So it kind of takes that, the philosophy of punk music, but post-punk and, you know, laptop beats. And I made up that term. I wrote my first song like in seventh grade and um, my first rap song I wrote, it was about Shakespeare's Macbeth in high school. So I kind of realized that hip hop, I liked how you could say more in a less amount of time. Hot topic is not pop rock. Hot topic is not pop rock. I read something in an interview um, from Fat Mike from No Effects. Ta he was talking about it. He like listed all these reasons why it wasn't hot top, why it wasn't punk rock. So it, I thought it'd be funny. So I, I, I did it in the style of um, Minor Threat. And I, my friends at Matches, I was like, we should do a song. We should record this. And they nailed it. Like the music, they, they I wrote the music and they totally got it perfect. So it ended up being the hit in America for the last song. My whole message is to, to ask kids and to try to inspire them to not consume and to create and to question things and like the, to, to be self-sustaining. Um, I like to call out trends that are not very well thought out, you know what I mean? Or, or use, use humor in a way to grab, grab people's attention and to be funny without being taken as a joke, you know what I mean? And, and, but, not, but not be too heavy about like social messages. I work with so many great artists. I work with um, Gabe from Cobra Starship and Brett from the Donnas and um, MC Back Commander from the Aquabats and Perry Grip from Nerf Herder and this guitarist Paul Gilbert and my favorite guest is um, Weird Al and he um, he played an accordion part and arranged an accordion section and like that was cool because I've been a fan of his for a while. To work with so many live musicians it was really interesting because it's kind of like conducting an orchestra through the phone and email to get everyone to send me their parts and um, it's fun to do something that's has the hip-hop backbone but is live music. Do you know what I mean? It's not just a sample record. I do everything I do with love. You know what I mean? Like I'm not attacking or trying to be like mean to anyone ever. I'm trying to be get people to look at themselves differently and, and laugh a little bit more, you know? <laughs> so there are haters but like haters, you know, they they don't get to tour the world and make music, so I don't worry about it. <laughs>